This is Dr. Zach Farr with Tennessee Orthopedic Alliance out of Nashville, Tennessee, presenting the Safe Cut Capsulotomy Blade, one of the latest advances in safe access regarding hip arthroscopy. As we know, the number of hip arthroscopy procedures being performed has grown immensely in recent decades, providing excellent treatment for our patients who historically did not have great options. However, hip arthroscopy is often described as one of the more difficult procedures in orthopedics. It has a steep learning curve and minor complications have been seen, which are primarily related to increased traction time and iatrogenic chondrolabral damage. It is agreed that these iatrogenic injuries can be minimized with surgeon experience, but additionally with continued improvements in instrumentation. The flush fit cannula system, along with the safe cut capsulotomy blade, are two monumental advances when it comes to safe access. The safe cut capsulotomy blade is a four millimeter one piece construction that combines a blunt tip for cartilage protection along with a blade that is uniquely designed for cutting through hip capsule tissue. Its working length is hip specific at 220 millimeters and it comes in both straight and curved options depending on surgeon preference. In addition, it can be used with or without an ergonomic handle for ease of use. My preference is the non-handled version which can simultaneously be used as a switching stick, eliminating multiple extra steps in traditional capsulotomy creation. Here we are performing hip arthroscopy on a right hip. We've got our anterior lateral portal and our mid anterior portal created. Now currently we are viewing through the mid anterior portal and looking back at our anterior lateral portal. We're now going to start performing our inner portal cap capsulotomy. Here we're going to show the new safe cut capsulotomy blade. And now we can remove our cannula safely with the blunt tip in the joint that protects the cartilage. And now we are ready to perform our inner portal capsulotomy. We can make this as minimal or as extensive as we'd like. We're going to extend this, touch posterior lateral, and now back towards our mid anterior portal to start our inner portal capsulotomy. You'll notice that the blunt tip is protective throughout the capsulotomy cut. Here, if you'll take my flesh fit cannula back, and we'll switch now back to the mid anterior portal to complete our inner portal capsulotomy. Go ahead and take out our safe cut capsulotomy blade. We're going to now switch viewing portals to our anterior lateral portal. And we're utilizing the new panoscope for this. Right now we have it on panoscope. We can also switch it to a traditional 70 if we'd like, or a traditional 30. Uh, for this case, we're using the uh, panoscope version. And so now we're ready to easily finish off our inner portal capsulotomy with minimal steps which again is decreasing our traction time and helping out with our OR efficiency. Our blunt tip here is just shown on the femoral head, protecting that femoral head. And any kind of oscillation that's required has an extra fail safe there. And we're now finishing off our inner portal capsulotomy. If we'd like to take it further this way, we can. And that makes a nice, clean and quick inner portal capsulotomy. Now we're starting to get better visualization and we can start moving forward with our hip arthroscopic labor repair. We've now finished our inner portal capsulotomy. We've been able to do this both safely and quickly. And we have nice clean edges that we can approximate with our capsule closure at the end of the case to preserve the, the native capsule. Here you can see our final arthroscopic labor repair. We have a three repair construct along with healthy cartilage and good clean leaflets. Uh, with good edges to be approximated uh, to repair our capsule for uh, hip preservation.